Are you serious? Look, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to belittle anyone or anything like that. But who did not see this coming? Why would they have that after credit scene at the end of season three where he says, Oh, the American, blah, 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 blah. Who else would it have been? They would not have had that scene there if it was just a completely random new character we had never seen before. Look, I'm not trying to belittle these people's reactions. I mean, some of them have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. It's just that, who didn't see this coming? It's just, I'm surprised how surprised they were at it. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. Stranger Things is a great show, in my opinion. Not one of my favorite shows of all time by any means, but out of Netflix's original catalog, I think it's up there. It's a really entertaining show, lots of entertaining characters. I love the horror and the sci-fi elements to it. I think it's really, really well done. But this really pisses me off. This is just another example of bad marketing. Why did they show Hopper? <laughs> Why? What is the point? This was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, um, questions that was left to be answered at the end of season three. Not, are they going to move back to Hawkins and everyone's going to be together again? Not, is there going to be another monster out there? But is Hopper alive? That was the big takeaway from the season three finale. And just over half a year later... Before season four is even released, this is the very first, before a trailer, the very first glimpse at season four, you reveal that he's alive. Don't get me wrong. I'm super, super happy that he's alive. I expected him to be alive. He, I think he's a great character. But where's the surprise? I would have loved to have suffered from back in July when I watched season three all in one day, I would have loved to have suffered from then up until season four arrives to see if he actually was still alive. That's the whole point of leaving cliffhangers and leaving questions unasked is so that it can get answered when the next part comes out. So now when season four comes out, it's not going to be a surprise. We're going to be like, all right, when are we going to get to Hopper? Because we know that he's alive now. Why would they take away... That surprise from us. Do you know how awesome it would be after waiting all this time for season four? Finally, it comes out. All the episodes are out. You get to sit down. First episode. Hopper's alive? Yes! But now we're just going straight into it. Hopper's alive. When, when's he going to show up? It's just stupid marketing like this that really pisses me off. I don't understand why people want to give away those types of surprises because it's all about the anticipation and leading up to it and finally you get that resolution when you finally watch it it's just, I, I, I'm, lo I'm lost for words this is why i hate movie trailers or tv show trailers that are really super long because they just show everything in the movie or the show and it's just like well you just showed us the whole freaking thing so what's the point now and it's the same thing with surprises that that gives away those huge plot details and this was this was literally 30 seconds long they posted it on twitter and youtube there's not even like the name of the show isn't even on it so it can apply to these really short teasers as well don't get me wrong it's filmed super super well Snowy Russia and the train track, I'm all for it. It looks dope. Then just the biggest reveal ever. It's like, I don't even want to watch it anymore. Marvel has a really big, similar situation where they kill off characters, but then they just keep bringing them back in their movies and shows. When characters die, you're supposed to feel, you're supposed to feel their loss. That, you know, because they're fucking dead. But when you keep bringing them back, it was like, what's, what's the point of being sad if they're just going to keep coming back? 
And it's the same thing with revealing these big surprises and shows. The Stranger Things. I'm just really confused why they did it. Like, did they want attention? It certainly got a lot of people talking. All these reaction videos is trending all over Twitter. But I just feel like, why would they need the attention? Season 3 was the most watched Netflix thing ever. So it's not like they had to worry about losing viewers or anything like that. If anything, people, more people were going to watch season four to find out if Hopper was alive. But you just did it like just over half a year. It's just, I don't get it. Stay hydrated. So yeah, honestly, that's really the only thing I have to say about it that I'm just really disappointed. I just think if they really cared about the art behind everything, they wouldn't have spoiled it before the show came out. I just think that's not really fair to your audience. I'm still going to watch season four because I'm a fan of the show. I'm just really disappointed that they did that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just think when they give away big spoilers in promotional stuff like teasers and trailers, before it actually comes out, it just takes away the impact of, of when you would actually watch it. You're meant to be left asking questions and wanting to see what comes next. But then, I don't know, it just gets taken away from you. And it's really stupid. Who's your favorite Stranger Things character? I would say probably Nancy is mine. Or Eleven from Season 3. I thought she was really cool and funny. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. I hope I didn't trigger or offend anyone that much. But uh, I'm just passionate about movies and shows. And I don't want things to get spoiled. Keep watching movies and shows when they're good, like Stranger Things. Just stupid marketing.